everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some custom figures as well as a haul to show you guys. I'm very, very excited for both of these customs. Um, I guess we can get straight into the main one, and it is this Seth Rollins Custom Royal Rumble 2019 Elite figure, as you guys can see here. It is not completely done. I do have to add the chest hair. That is something that I know you guys are going to point out, and also the lines that uh, run on the front of his legs. There's like some like metallic blue lines that run right here and then they run on the back of the legs right there I have to uh, fix that up but as far as the rest of the design is concerned I mean it's pretty much complete you guys see here I do have the top talents head scan on there really do enjoy that I do love that head scan one of the best head scans I think Mattel has ever done but besides that I mean this custom what I did I'll tell you the exact formula that I used I actually used some elite dash wilder arms and then I had some leftover hands in there in my fodder bin, I threw those in there because obviously Scott Dawson or Dash Wilder hands aren't going to work on this. I had to get some open hands because I like when my figures have open hands so they can grab weapons and stuff and hold up universal titles when they win them at WrestleMania 35. So that is pretty much it for the upper part. This is an Elite 45 Seth Rollins. I did use the white base there. The only thing that is not Elite 45 Seth Rollins is obviously the arms and the head that we covered and then the foot part of the kick pads is actually an Elite 52 Seth Rollins because I wanted, I didn't want to have to paint the full foot black. So I took an Elite 52 Seth Rollins and painted it up in the navy and the blue and then of course just added the white over the lime green. Very easy to do. And then of course the rest is literally an Elite 45 Seth Rollins. I did use top talent Seth Rollins knee pads so that the logo would be easier to paint. Even though it was still a pain in the ass to paint, you know, I, I figured that it would be easier. And it was easier, but it still was a tough challenge. I mean, it was it was freaking rough, man. That freaking orange. Um, it covered the red pretty good, but then coming back with that white and trying to fill it in was kind of uh, difficult. It was actually kind of difficult, I'm not going to lie to you. But anyways, you guys can see here, here's the belt. What I did on the belt is that I took a piece of paper. My wife is freaking wonderful. And what I did was I went in on my phone and I created this trapezoid shape with my own little editing apps um, that I've gotten used to using over the years. I've just I've been editing for seven or eight years now, so I've gotten good at you know coming up with designs and stuff. So I made this little trapezoid shape, made it orange, filled it in with navy blue. I uh, sent a bunch of different sizes to her at work. She printed them off and then brought them to me. And uh, yeah, it cut out perfectly. It fit perfectly, and I glued it to it. It's literally just a piece of paper glued on there. And it works perfectly. It's like a my own custom made decal pretty much. And you guys can see here, one thing I also have to add is the little blue belt loop right there. I accidentally put it in the middle and I noticed it wasn't accurate. So I'm going to have to add it right here. It's right on the line of the orange. So I'm going to have to do that. We have the blue stripe on the, or the blue belt loop on the back. You got the designs going down on both sides of the trunks. You got the SR logo going down. The only thing I don't have is obviously the entrance shirt or the entrance, the entrance shirt, you know, that goes with it. Here are the kick pads and knee pads. You got the orange and blue going all the way around. This isn't as clean as I would like it to be, but it's still pretty good. I hate the back of the knees. You know, the blue got sort of mixed in with the, uh, the Elite 45 knee joints, but it's no problem. I mean, I could have acetoned all that off and made it clean white, but it's still the same thing. I mean, it's basically going to chip off anyway, so there's no biggie there. But there is the kick pads. You got the white with the orange outlines, and yeah, that is pretty much it. A custom Royal Rumble 2019 Seth freaking Rollins. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Again, I still have to add the chest hair. Um, I wanted to use, you know, the Top Talents torso, but since I uh, was using that Elite 45, I wasn't going to just, you know, torso swap just for chest hair. I think that would be really, really stupid. So uh, what I'm going to do is just come in with a pencil like I did on a few other Seth Rollins customs. And I actually, um, speaking of Seth Rollins customs, I actually found two more Top Talent Seth Rollins at Walmart. And uh, yeah, I picked them both up because why not? You, you need your Seth Rollins figures to do your customs. So there is the one that I used in actually yesterday's video. And then I still have one mock back here, which we will open. You guys know we don't collect mock figures here. So we do have Elite Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins. Congratulations to him. How stupid was it that yesterday's video, I make a video, who's Seth Rollins going to fight? And then they had just announced it on Twitter or Instagram or whatever the hell they did. What? What is this shitty shit? Look at this. Look at this shitty shit right here on his torso. Can you guys see that? It's like this little mufflage, right? What is this little stuff? Is that... It looks like super glue, but I don't know how super glue would get on there. And I use painter's tape. There's no way that that left a mark. I don't know what that is, but I'm not I'm not feeling that ish. But anyways, I guess uh, maybe I can chip that off or something. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think anybody noticed till I freaking pointed it out like a stupid idiot moron. But next up, guys, 
We have a custom. This is something I've been working on. I'm, go I'm going to finish this today, by the way. I'm going to finish this Jeff Hardy today. This is a custom fantasy attire Jeff Hardy face paint. And I have some pretty cool plans for this. And you're going to see later on when I complete it. I'll post it on Instagram and do another video about it. But uh, it just hit me the other day. I was just chilling. It was literally yesterday. I was sitting there chilling. I was looking at Jeff Hardy and I was like, how cool would it be to do like a freaking Punisher face paint on Jeff Hardy? And within literally, I don't know, 30 minutes, bam, complete. You guys can see there. Let me get a better zoom in shot. You guys can see there. You got the white going through. I did give him white gauges. I also came through his hair and added like some white highlights. I felt like that would, you know, add to the depth of the hair. It would make it look a little better. It's still not complete. I still want to touch it up a little bit. There's some stuff I want to add to it. Make it probably a bit grungier. Add some paint splatter with black to it. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use this body. Even though this body does look good with it, I'm going to be doing a whole different thing. I'm gonna be probably adding some custom boots and some accessories and attires and shirts and stuff. It's gonna be really sweet when it's completed, but I figured why not show you guys while I'm showing you the Royal Rumble Seth Rollins. So we have this fantasy attire Jeff Hardy Punisher face paint. I would love to know what you guys think down below. I think it looks sick AF. I, I was just really inspired. Uh, Punisher's my favorite Marvel character. So I, the other day I was just looking at my Jeff Hardys and then I looked up at my Finn Balor's and I was just like, bro, like, what is this? Sh let me, let me use this. Let me freaking make a Seth Ro or let me make a freaking Jeff Hardy Punisher and Bamsies Malamsies. There you go. It's in the flesh now and it looks great. And I love this. You, you back it up and it gets freaking, you know, it's kind of distorted there and it looks like a floating skull face. That's sick AF. Freaking dirty, man. I, I love this. I'm very happy with it. And I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think of the Punisher Jeff Hardy? And what do you think of the Custom Elite Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins? I would love to know down below. I will be posting full images of these complete later on on Instagram. Not this one today. This one probably won't be done today. But definitely Seth Rollins will be done. But thank you guys so very much for watching. That does it for today's video. Comment down below again what you think of Seth Rollins Custom Royal Rumble 2019. What do you think of my fantasy attire Jeff Hardy? If you guys have any parts ideas for it, love to know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.